Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon, and welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time, we ventured all around Dark Hyrule Castle, and there's only one thing that stands before us. Let's hear this message again. If Vadi's after the life force, we'll stop until he's drained Zelda. Death, she'll be able to express. Oh, I'm the monster in the roof. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there now. This is gonna be the last normal episode of this Let's Play. Ha ha ha! Are you, you are persistent, aren't you? <laughs> so, you've come to stop my little ceremony. Well, you're too late. A mere three more chimes of the bell will bring the ceremony to its end. And with the third toll of the bell, I will become like a god. And your precious Princess Zelda will be nothing more than cold dead stone. There's no time. We'll quickly link to the roof when there's no time to waste. Got one of these guys here. Do not bother fighting that guy. He is not worth it. Did you hear that, Link? Hurry, there's only two more chimes left. This room here, I recommend splitting up here. Charge up your great spin. And just kind of go nuts here, because we have a lot of these things here. And that room shouldn't be too bad, but... When there's one room left, another bell is tolled. Just one more chime, and all our work will be in for naught. We got three of these guys. This is by far the trickiest part of this whole thing here, because... You gotta fight three Dark Nuts at once. Thankfully, it's in a pretty open spot. The great Bin attack does make good work of these guys. But remember, you are on a time limit here. If you do take too long in these rooms here, a chime will kind of go off by itself. And you don't want that. Bombs are also a decent tactic for that, but here we go. <laughs> Just a few more moments and the ceremony would have been complete. You really are obsessed with stopping me, aren't you? Ah, very well. I have not yet drained all of the life force housed in Princess Zelda. But what I have should suffice. I shall be transformed unstoppable. Well, let me first attend the pesky worms who would trifle with me. Hmm. I will have no more of you interfering with my plans. Let me show you true power. This is Vadi. You want to attack these uh, things that swing that spin around him there, and then he'll expose his weak spot. Not too much more complicated than that, but. Thought he does also have some other attacks here. Reminds me a lot of a Patra from Zelda 1 there. Um, okay, I guess I also just didn't hit him enough on the first phase there to kind of uh, expose the next phase there, which is kind of something. Uh, and I still didn't. Usually I can get these phases in one cycle here. I guess I might just not have the touch anymore. I think that might be it for phase two there. Yes, eventually he'll summon these the shadow ball attack here. Um I don't know where the hint that you might need to use your gust jar is, but like this was a part that stumped me a lot when I was younger because I didn't know that was what I needed to be using there. Okay, stop teleporting around so much there. Shadow Balls back out here. Oh, I got them all immediately as soon as they spawned in there. That's definitely a very nice thing you can do there. Vani's not really a slouch final battle, though, and... Uh, that went over way smoother than I thought, but... Well, you seem to have some fight in you. I commend your bravery. But you will not survive this! <laughs> I am filled with a power that you cannot begin to understand. Do you think that your puny sword will save you from me? Vadi finally shows his true colors. 
this phase, I believe you'll want to use the arrows here. And yeah, I think this takes more hits if you don't have the light arrows, which is like the one thing that those are actually like, I don't want to say required for, but like, I think this is like the one thing that'll make this fight more tolerable here. But the light arrows are just cool to have. I don't know why you wouldn't want those. It is also just strange having a boss fight that kind of does require having arrows for the first time since, like, Mazal. And I think I know exactly which one this is by now. I can break these spikes here that he throws out at you. I remember one time, this is kind of a weird story to tell now, um, you also want to just dodge those lightning attacks there. I remember there was one time I, like, when I was younger, I beat this game on, like, a, uh... I don't know if it was, like, I beat this game on a, early on a Friday night or whatever, or I just... I got the idea of wanting to play this game on, like, a Friday night. And I ended up playing through this entire game in, like, one weekend at that point, where I would, like... I started it up Friday night and then continued it and finished it Saturday morning. It wasn't 100% or anything, but just... I don't know, it's it's one of my, like, better memories of this game, and I played, like, a good chunk of the game to... Okay, it's the entire right side, that's not so bad then. If you run low on arrows, I think that they do spawn in the spike rocks. Which is definitely a beneficial thing here. It's not too tough of a phase, though, I gotta say. Not too tough of a fight overall. Yeah, okay, arrows do spawn in that. And that's it. What? What is this madness? I have the power of a god. I have unstoppable might. How could I lose to a child? You did it. Impressive. Now quickly, we must break the curse on Zelda. So, Link, now that you have the power of the Four Sword, you must return Zelda to normal. Let's use that sword beam that we just never use in this game, hardly. Link, thank you so much for saving me. When I was turned to stone, I saw visions of you, as if in a dream. Looks like the curse has been broken. I'm glad we made it in time. Oh, the castle's collapsing. It's too dangerous here. Quickly, you must escape the castle. Ah, the door's blocked as well. We have no choice. Head back to the sanctuary. Let us indeed make our way there. Everywhere else is kind of blocked off for now. We can't go anywhere else in the castle. This way is blocked off. All the fake doors are gone now, too, I believe. Yep, fake doors are gone. That way is blocked off. Before heading up, though, if we want, this way is not blocked off, which is convenient because this was a health room. And remote bombs and arrows. And you can just keep going back and forth between that room all you want, by the way. So, yeah, very convenient healing up spot, especially since you can get two fairies there that just infinitely respawn. <laughs> you will not escape, boy. Now you will see the true power of the Light Force, for I have become Vadi, the master of this world. This is Vadi's true form. Um... I believe, does Esso say anything? Link, judging by the look of your eyes, I'd say you've made up your mind. Excellent, perhaps now you're ready to... No? I kind of remember what I need to do here, but I want to see if there's a hint that Ezlo says here, because it's not at all clear what it is. Yeah, 
I love the look of this background here, though. Like, the actual fight itself is kind of just okay, but man, the look of this background is incredible. You can see, given our tools here, we have a lot of things kind of at our disposal. We have a split-up pad, we have the shrink thing here. There's a lot of things we have, but it's... Ezlo, do you tell me what I need to do for this? I'm kind of waiting to see if the game tells me, because as a kid, I would not have guessed what you needed to do here. Yes, here we go. A hand is re a real pain, Link. Perhaps one of those gizmos you carry around can do something to it. Not a great hint! You know what gizmo he, want he wants us to use? You said the cane of Pachi, you are correct. Yeah, this part of the game is a little bit obscure. Like, the sucking up the shadow balls, sure, I can kind of get, but... Cane of Pachi isn't really much of a boss tool, usually, unless you're fighting a fire-breathing dragon, so... Yep. Anyways, you can flip that upwards, which is kind of strange. And... Oh, no, 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 I did not mean to do that. Um, thankfully, I think time does freeze whenever you're down below there. Get out of the way here. You can head inside here. And one of these will be different than another here. I believe I'm going to use the um, boomerang here to make this a little simpler here. You want to attack the one that has a pupil, basically. Which was also like, when I learned about that, that was I think one of the first times I ever learned of the word pupil. This fight actually was the thing that kind of like, stumped me the most out of any fight in this game, believe it or not. Like, I don't know if I beat this fight without having to resort to, like... I, I, don't, I don't know if I resorted to game facts because of this fight or not, but, like... I want to say it was something like that. Anyways... Where's the... Is that it there? Yeah, this is it here. Yep, got it. And escape... In a way, it kind of reminds me a bit of the Mazal fight in that sense, but now these things will just kind of come alive here. Yeah, you're not escaping that electric attack there. Okay, and I remember this now here. Oh, come on! God, not the lightning. How did that freaking work from that far away? I have no idea. But that is what you gotta do for Vadi's weakness there. Pretty triumphant remix of the main Minish Cap theme here for like a boss theme. Also, shoot. No, dang it. I did not mean to fall that time. Oh, come on! That should not have missed. I refuse to believe that one missed there. How? How did... <sighs> Sometimes this is a little finicky. Again, how? How? Fine, I'll stand a decent bit away here, and get hit by lightning instead. Wow. Body, you're actually kind of proving to be a little bit of a nuisance here. Don't get me wrong, with four fairies, I'm not worried about dying at all, but... Oh my god. Gonna wait till he does this lightning attack here. I want to dodge that before splitting up here. There we go. All right. I think one more phase that should be good. Nope. 
Nice. Actually attack him, thank you. Fool, I... The light force, my power. It's such power. That is it. For body and the Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. Link, thank goodness you're safe. You defeated Vadi. You were so brave. But we lost so much. The castle. All those people. What's this? Curse. Defeating Vadi seems to have broken the curse he cast upon me. Allow me to introduce myself to you, Princess Zelda. My name is Ezlo, Master of Minish Lore and Sorcery. The Mage's Cap was my creation, but its limitless power has caused nothing but trouble for your kind. Is there any way you can forgive me? I know many have fallen, and much of the castle has been destroyed. It is too soon to give in to despair. The curse on me is broken, and Zelda still possesses some of the life force. Perhaps together, we can do something to make things right. If one with just heart wears this cap, things can be made right again. Princess Zelda, let your wishes be made real. Cap, and with the power of Zelda's pure heart, it seems like everything will actually be returned to normal. The monsters are gone. All the people who've been turned to stone, they're all back to normal. Mm hmm. The hat is falling apart. It's overflowing with the power of life. The hat has the power to turn the thoughts of wearers into reality. Body's heart was filled with evil, and that was reflected in what he became. But it seems that Zelda's pure heart, coupled with the hat's power, has created a miracle. Looks like the time for us to part has come. The Minish door opens but once every century, and soon it must close. I must leave you both now and return to my homeland. I know I've caused you much suffering, but the evil one's power has withered. The power of Princess Zelda herself has restored the light to Hyrule. Well, Link, my journey with you has been exciting to say the least. In fact, I'm more than just a little sad that we must part ways now. Please accept this. <laughs> you know, I've never actually seen you wearing a cap until now. It suits you, little hero. Take care. Until we meet again, Ezlo. Farewell, my friend. That, my friends, was it for The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. 
it's it's actually a little weird for as many times as I've played and beaten this game. It's actually like I, I don't want to say I'm a little teary-eyed seeing that ending again, but um, this was a game I've wanted to let's play now since near the beginning. And like I mentioned before, I wanted to let's play this game as far back as 2010. To the point where I actually did record, like, six videos, basically up until the end of Cave of Flames, um, that were uploaded on, an, on another channel. And that just kind of dropped because I was trying to juggle way too many things at the time, but now that, now that I've said that I've actually done this Let's Play for real now, it's given me a lot more to kind of reflect on and think about. I, I love this game, man. It's one of my favorite Zelda games for a reason. Um... It's a little simple, sure. It is a bit on the easier side. I barely died in this game at all. If if at all, I don't think I died a single time. And, um... Heck, I've had fairies in bottles literally this entire Let's Play without any worry. I could easily classify this as a good beginner Zelda game. I could see how it might be a little simple for some people, but... This was a game that made me a fan of this series, and... I think that's something that I'll always kind of treasure with that. I have a lot of memories and stories that I shared, and I think I shared most of them throughout this LP. Dating some as far back from when I was a young, like, school child, and some from more when... kind of more whenever I became an adult. So... Yeah... So it, it's it's always funny to see Bill Trinan in uh, some of these locals, some of these uh, credit sequences. But yeah, um, personally, I really loved this game growing up, and I still I can see why it's a little like different. You know, the, the a lot of items just aren't conventional. Some are kind of like subjectively used, but I think there's generally some good uses for a lot of them. I think the dungeons generally are pretty good. Um, the music I think is really dang stellar in this game. Um, also just the sprite work in general is really good too. I just, I really like this game, man. I really do like this game a lot. And I'm really glad to say that I finally Let's Played this game after, like, literally over a decade of wanting to do a Let's Play of this game. <sighs> Thus, did Link's quest come to an end. Surely, this is not the end of Zelda and Link's adventures in Hyrule. The legend will continue. Indeed it will. As long as the power of the Light Force echoes throughout the ages. That, my friends, was it for Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I do recommend saving here. A lot, actually. But... Join me back next time for the one bonus video of this Let's Play, and yeah, from there we, after that, we will kind of see you guys back for something else, something else that is a little long overdue, possibly longer overdue than this LP. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.